Hi Taurus, this is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do your next 72 hour read. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a video, okay? Also, I am available for personal readings. This is here. I am available for personal readings. If you guys are interested, all of that information is down below in the description box, along with how to donate to the channel to help keep it going, and also how to follow me on social media platforms, okay? So let's go ahead and get into your read, Taurus. Um, at the bottom of the deck, your overall energy is this death energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio here, okay? Or you guys could have a Scorpio in your chart. But Taurus, you guys are going through a major death and rebirth. I'm hearing finances. So you guys may not be, uh, your finances may not be the best right now, but you guys are working towards it and it's going to pay off, okay? That is what I am picking up on so it, it feels like there's a major death and rebirth in your money so uh if things were not, are not looking good for you with as far as your money is concerned do know that you are rebirthing from lack to abundance okay that's the energy that i am picking up on but this is also your own spiritual growth your own spiritual journey you guys are in the middle of transforming letting go of people cutting off uh negative energies that do not belong uh around you with this five of towards energy okay so there could be a recent friend a soulmate connection that you guys have cut off and let go and this is really stressing you or them out i feel like it's stressing them out more than what is stressing you out okay that's the energy that i'm picking up on um yeah, this could have been a long time friend, see, and you sent you sent them on their way. Again, you guys are going through this major rebirth, this major uh, transformation. So you guys are cutting out the people that are no longer serving you, okay? And this could be somebody from childhood. This could be family as well that you guys have cut out, but you guys you guys are not with it anymore, okay? Uh, I feel you guys are choosing to focus on your money, focus on your work, and you guys are building yourself back up. You guys are. You guys have your hand in your own uh, in your own growth. So you you guys are taking responsibility and saying, OK, I need to focus on me and not all of these uh, deceptive people, these karmic relationships that are around me. I need to put my time and my energy into myself and build myself, build my business, build my career, build my money, build my wish fulfillments and the things that I desire in my lifetime. And that is what you are focusing on. And I feel once you've done that and you've finished focusing on that then you will come into receiving the foundation and the stability but right now you guys are focused on building your stability and your own home life but i do feel after you guys finish building yourself and your healing and you finish going through this rebirth and you guys are in a comfortable place you guys will get this soulmate you guys will get a soulmate coming into your energy that is meant to be there um, for a lifetime you guys will meet your soul contract partners friendships business partners all of that romantic partners you will meet your soul tribe once you um uh, are done working on you and building yourself up. I feel like you feel you're you're going to be okay being by yourself or being a single person. Uh, you do have other friends that really are there for you. Those are the friends and people that you need to keep around. Okay, but you guys will have a, a happy outcome um, with someone. Okay, now with the six of pentacles uh, here, there could have been a, a, a problem. Pretty much somebody was not giving to you as much as you were giving to them. You realize that. I'm always giving to these people. Every time I need something or every time they need something, I'm there for them. But then when I ask them for something, they're not there for me. They weren't reciprocating the energy back. And so you said, OK, you noticed that spirit made it aware to you guys and you guys cut that off. I do feel this was hurtful for you. It's stressing you out um, very so much so, especially because of the the who it is um, or the people that it is okay but you did what was best for you you're doing what is best for you okay do know this could have been and happened in the recent past it could be coming happening now or it could be coming up in the future okay where you're going to be realizing people that you need to cut off your focus on relationships that give you what you want 
And because you're the type of person you're going to give other people that stability, that security, um, people were taking advantage of you. I'm hearing could have been that could be why your money isn't right. You could have been you could have been giving your money to certain people could have been giving your money to family and friends. And you said enough is enough because yet now I'm being affected because now I don't have any money. And that's the energy I was picking up here with this death card energy. OK, why is this six of cups here, spirit? Why is six of cups here? You got to see y'all moving forward because y'all moving forward from what y'all thought were soulmate connections or either long term, uh, long term friendships, families. You could have been at a job for a very long time, but you guys are moving forward. You guys are riding off into the sunset. I'm hearing something new, something different. You guys are just tired. You guys are tired of the same old, same old. And you guys want something new, something different, something refreshing is what I'm hearing. OK, why is this five of swords here? Look. Because your money ain't right. Told you. they Other people was leaving you out, Nicole. You was doing for any and everybody else financially. And they were not doing for you. And you, I'm not saying you had it like that. But your heart was like, okay, you know what? This person need this. Let me, let me help them. And it left you dry. It left you out in the cold. And people were looking at you when you finally say no or said no. They looking at you like you mean and stuck up. And like you ain't been, did, did all this stuff for them. And they're, they want to make it seem like you're being stingy, mean, and all this stuff. And it's like, do y'all not, do, do y'all not remember Time one through time 10 that I was there for y'all through time 20 through time 100. I've been there for y'all and y'all ain't been there for me. Not one time or maybe only one time. It just wasn't balanced. Do y'all not realize y'all drained my bank account? Y'all drained my energy. Y'all drained me of my time, my resources. Spirit said it was a choice that you made as well. OK, spirit getting people together. <laughs> Spirit said, you now know to make better choices and don't to not. And, and you experience this. So, you know, when you get this new money, I'm hearing a fortune. OK, when you get this new money, then, yeah, because you're you're very motivated, I feel, to get your money back up. And look, that's going to be your justice. Look at this. It's like, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to get my justice. You ain't got to do nothing to them, say nothing to them. They're going they're going to see it. That's exactly why you're focusing on your work towards you definitely need your stability, your, your security, your foundation for this eight of pentacles. Look, see, you're focusing on what makes you happy. Like I said, you're building yourself up. You are focused on you right now at this time, Taurus. You're going to be very emotionally happy. Yeah, smell the roses. You guys are focusing on you and your own energy. And you're getting yourself together. And baby, y'all are looking scrumptious. Y'all are looking good. Absolutely. Spirit is on your side. Spirit is saying, uh, <laughs> go out, have fun. This is for this nine of swords. Since I'm not even able to get to the question and the cards want to pop out. Yep, look, you're balancing out this stress. You've been stressed and frustrated, really, or it's really just been heavily on your mind. Maybe it's not stressing you, but it's just been heavy on your mind. Like, I can't believe these motherfuckers did that. You know what I mean? That type of energy. Some of you guys, it really could be stressed because it involves your money. So it's like, dang, what am I going to do now? You're out in the cold and everything with that five of pentacles energy. But even with this, things are balancing out. And I told you, your money is balancing out. Even before we started, when we just had the death card only, I told you that your money is looking good and it is. OK, but we see why you're going through that rebirth with your finances, because you had to learn those lessons as far as giving too much to people or giving whether it was your money, your time, your resources, your energy, your advice, your wisdom, whatever it was. Everybody doesn't deserve access to you. And look, this night of uh, swords, you're rushing towards this new beginning. You're, you're rushing towards something new, okay? You also have something coming towards you that is going to blindsight you. I'm not sure what that is, okay? Take that how it resonates. We'll see what continues to come out, but just splitting the deck. Look, could be this love situation. Y'all may have love quicker than you think. Spirit, what messages do you have? Oh, what messages do you have for Taurus for the Six of Pentacles? Why is the Six of Pentacles here, Spirit? These cards are large, so it's a little difficult to shuffle them. But I love this deck. 
I've had this deck for over a year, so about a year. And Spirit said, it is time. Let the ancestors speak. <laughs> so I was like, okay, look, because y'all getting this love. You guys are running into somebody that is going. I'm not even going to show y'all what's on the bottom of the deck yet. Just wait till y'all see it. Okay, just wait till y'all see what's on the bottom of the deck. Somebody test your intuition. If you guys can see, if you guys know, I don't know why I just got this, but just test your intuition to see if you guys know what is on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, but you guys are running into the six of pentacles. We saw the 10 of cups already. We already see the nine of cups. You're focused on you and your happiness, which is why you get to get the 10 of cups because of you guys being really happy and excited within yourself. So you meet this partner, you guys, uh, this person that you guys match with because they two are happy and you guys come together with both of y'all individual happiness and it equals that ten of cups and this god of wands baby is sexy okay this person is a business person they're an entrepreneur they're a leader they're very fiery they take action this is also you um being in this this god of wands energy for you and your business Spirit is telling you to take action on your own business as you guys are, okay? But do so stepping into this God of inner this God of Wands energy. But this person coming in, this they're going to be the ones to give you this this reciprocal energy, okay? And that is exactly what's going to blindside you. You don't see that coming. You guys then cuz then we tell you guys it ends with this four of uh wands here. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Ain't this so beautiful? I just love this artwork. The two of cups. You guys have this soul partnership that is coming in. And didn't I say that with this? You guys ha definitely have a soul. You guys are moving forward. That's what you guys are moving forward to. And you guys may not even realize it. But that's how manifestation works. When you just focus on you and doing you like la 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 la. It's like, whoa. You just run into all these different things that make you happy. And just think, it opens up the path for the universe to allow things, everything that you want to come to you. You're in the flow, okay? Four of Wands. I'm also hearing your your people that you've cut off, they will see this. Some of some people could be stalking. Some of the people you've cut off, um, there could have been some type of Facebook drama is what I'm picking up on or some type of social media drama, okay? But they're watching you. Some people could be uh, creating fake accounts. Um, or something like that just to kind of keep tabs on you if you've blocked some people or they're having other people to, to they're asking about you or something like that okay they want to know what you're doing because I feel like you've blocked these people out look you guys the seven of wands uh, you guys have blocked some people but this is you um, setting your boundaries you your spirit is telling you to set your boundaries but this is this love catching you off guard again look at this she's on her journey She's walking this way and you see how her body is. She turns around because like, wait, who is this? All these wands. This God of wands said, hey, let me throw these wands her way. Eight of eight of pentacles, uh, not eight of pentacles, but um, eight of wands energy. It's like he throwing these wands at you. Like, let me get her attention or his attention. I know it's probably mostly women that watch my channel, but however, we do not discriminate over here. I love the male energy. Come on, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. This channel is for everybody. But if I do, you know, if you hear me speaking as if I'm talking to the ladies, because I know that that is my main audience and I cater to my main audience. But I also understand that anybody um, could be watching this video and I welcome all people over here. Okay. Please join the family if you feel connected to this energy. I would love to have you over here. All right. Look, what did I say? That's exactly what you guys are rushing to. Somebody is also rushing to get information on you as well. Some of you guys could have a court case coming up or some type of legal interaction that's coming up as well. But look, you guys get your justice. Let's get this four of wands. Let's get this four of wands. My bad. I know that was loud. Four of wands. You guys have a lot of wand energy in your chart, so uh, fire energy. So you guys could be dealing with a fire sign for sure or have a lot of fire in your chart, Taurus. Whoa. Yeah, you're going to be at peace 
Peace and blessings is what I'm hearing. You're, you're stepping into the space of peace and blessings. That's exactly what you're getting. Why? Because you are the Supreme. This Supreme has been coming out for, uh, I think it only came out for one other sign. Okay, I cannot remember because I recorded those way earlier um, in the day today. However, you guys are the Supreme. You guys are the end all be all. You know who you are. You have worked on yourself. You have healed these generational traumas. You have healed within yourself. Just all the lessons that you have had to learn. And you are truly, truly genuine, ha genuinely happy. And they don't make pe they they don't they it's like they don't make them like you no more is what I'm hearing. They don't make people like you. And there's rarely people that want to actually do the work. You also may feel like you're having a hard time finding your soul tribe or finding people that does match your energy. Spirit is saying, give it time. Those people will be coming in. You continue to rest. Sleep and beauty is what I'm hearing. So you guys could be sleeping a lot or you that movie could be your favorite movie or something like that. But you guys need your beauty rest is pretty much what I'm picking up on. Just rest from here on out. We got two fours here. So 44, you guys are definitely set your foundation spirit is also telling you to rest to make a plan because rest make a plan take action is what I'm picking up on okay um, last final advice and then we'll pull an Oracle final advice for Taurus final advice for Taurus I don't I, for some of the signs I didn't even give them that final advice but it's all love Wow do y'all see I can't first of all First of all, whoop, whoop, first of all, do y'all see this? We got this 10 of Pentacles. I'm telling you, y'all gonna be happy. I'm hearing shade, but it's more, some people could be throwing shade, but it's more like uh, fun in the shade is the type of energy. So it's more so like you're, you're, you're riding off in the sunset or you're gonna be chilling in the shade is more the energy. Like it's kind of like somebody being under a tropical, like on a beach under some type of uh, palm tree and they have a drink in their hand, got their sunglasses on and they just looking at the out at the water and they're just chilling. That's the type of energy that I'm feeling. You know, you're just gonna be at peace. You're at so much peace or you will be. Do you not see this as your final advice? First of all, at the center of this, didn't I tell you that they watching with this page of swords? This daughter of swords, but this is the page of swords. They watching in any way they can, okay? Also, this person coming towards you could already be somebody in your energy that is paying attention to you or either simply saying that um, this person uh, is really going to they, they can't stop looking at your pictures or they'll want to look at your pictures all the time once you guys meet them they're going to always be you know looking at your social media you know and everything else they're going to be active and involved uh, with you on social media or just anywhere because they're kind of just keeping an eye on you they're very protective as the god of wands is Okay, they protect what's theirs and they feel like you are theirs, you know, not an ownership type way, but it's like, this is my boo, this is my bae, and I only want them, and that's that. And so they're showing you, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Okay, look at this, it's a match. We have the God of Wands and the Goddess of Wands. So you guys definitely have some fire in your chart, possibly. But this is you looking all good, getting your beauty rest. This is why you guys are looking good, looking sexy. Your money is up. Everything is well with you guys. You guys are so happy and at peace with this person, with this connection. You guys have this God of Wands, the sun, and this Goddess of Wands. I need, I need multiple hands. <laughs> You guys are good. You guys are going to be so good. You guys are good now. This is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. With the Oracle cards, I've been reading just a quick guide. That way you can get just the quick messages of what uh, the, the meaning of this card. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Oh, y'all get two. Okay. Y'all have Stork News Beginnings. New Beginnings messages let's see what that what that one is really quickly they're really quick and then i'll read the two that you guys got so this stork is change transition new cycle and movement yep you guys are moving away from all that is not serving you guys you guys are ready for a change and then we have the anchor and we have the coffin 
Spirit is telling you to, y'all need to finish up these cycles. You guys are closing up these cycles and Spirit is telling you guys it's time to lay to rest all of the, 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 the people that were um, not giving to you. It's time to close the chapter is what I'm hearing. Also, I am picking up on the energy that somebody could have recently passed away that was close to you. And I'm actually hearing um, because of what's going on in the world. OK, um, so my condol my condolences, my condolences. This could be very difficult for you guys to deal with as well. For those who it is, it could have been a mother figure or a woman okay but overall spirit is saying and they're with you in spirit okay they're with you in spirit connect with them connect with them okay um however this is overall saying y'all need to close these cycles uh, make sure the door is shut coffin shut y'all need to bury this six feet under eight feet under spirit is saying dead this cycle because these people cannot come with you okay anchor yourself get yourself together which is what you're doing. You're getting your stability. You're coming into your stability, okay? Um, but the actual card says for eight, ending loss, grief, and sadness. And for this, for the anchor, stability, restraint, resilience, foundation, okay? I am going to leave your read there, Taurus. Please comment and let me know how it resonates with you guys in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell. That way you guys never miss a video. I am available for personal readings to book me. You can find that information down below in the description box, along as well as along with how to donate to the channel and how to follow me on my social media. Until the next video, bye Taurus.